Bacteria testing. Why pestis? Why pestis is a causative agent of bubonic plague. With this test, we stumped some of the top scientists in the world. I was sitting with two of the top scientists as they discussed this for about 45 minutes. I was stunned. The fact that these two would actually take time to discuss our product for 45 minutes is unbelievable. In that test, we wanted to impress the DOD, Department of Defense, U.S. Department of Defense, about the ability of this product to kill pathogens. Bubonic plague killed millions of people in Europe. Black plague, you've all seen it. But the point is that it is a very deadly agent. In the Y pestis test, a regular in vitro test, you use about half a million bacteria per milliliter. In vitro is test two, okay? You can't give it to people and test it because nobody wants to have it, all right? So you test it in the test tube. And then what you do is you boost the numbers to show how, how effective your product is. A regular test, like I said, they do about half a million bacteria per milliliter. In this test at 10 ppm, we went up against 96 million bacteria per milliliter, 160 times the normal amount. We got greater than a 99% kill in two minutes. A seven log kill, that's 99.99999 on out seven times, kill in eight minutes with just 10 parts per million. Central Utah water, one of the things we thought is, hey, if these people are traveling, if we travel, we need to have something that we can actually, you buy bottled water in some other country, especially here in the US, you, uh, you don't know what's in there. So we decided we better do studies. These studies did two things. One, it showed us at very dilute levels. We're talking about 0.1 ppm. That's 140th the amount you get in the new silver solution. At 0.1 ppm, we killed all the bacteria in raw river water in two minutes, actually a minute and a half. But I figured that it probably took them that long to get the test in. Okay, at half that level, 0 0.5 ppm, we killed it all in 20 minutes. So the question is, one, if it's diluted out into your body, you're mostly water, does it have the possibility of killing pathogens? Obviously it does. And two, if I'm traveling, I'm taking it with me. I may not be able to put it in my carry on right now, but I'll tell you what, it'll be in my suitcase. The number 16 test, we proved another thing which was very important. I just got that approved by the EPA at half part per million. Inside dental water lines, you have a bacteria growth. There's some of that bacteria that's called a biofilm. Biofilms are bacteria that group together in a symbiotic relationship, and what happens is that they cover themselves with a slime. They make it very difficult for anything to reach through and kill them. We were able to kill them at a half part per million, wipe them out of the line, and keep them from growing back. CRA Labs, Christensen Labs, which is one of the top dental testing facilities in the United States, they actually put a letter out in, I think, nine languages, did a 10-year study on disinfectants for the dental industry for water lines. Of 42 products, they picked ours in the top four. The only one that was non-toxic, the only one that was non-chemical, it wipes out the smell that kills the bacteria that even causes smell in the line. Silver versus virus. This might be some of the most important data you see. I am not claiming right now that we can cure any of those things. But if you look on there, the ability to kill virus is very important. Our first study, we said, let's see if we can actually kill a virus. So we were working with a partner out of India, a biopharma company. They said, okay, we'll put it up against a challenge of a billion virus, okay? A billion is a lot. That's a huge challenge. We killed it all in 2.5 hours, okay? In two hours, there were two left out of a billion. 2.5, we killed them all. So if the question is, can you prove that your product 
our product, will kill a bacteria? Yes. Kill a yeast? Yes. You've seen it. Kill a protozoa? Yeah. Malaria is a protozoa. We proved that we could wipe it out. A virus? Yeah. We can. We have that data. And you have it now. We did SARS with the National Institute of Health, the NIH. That's the government labs, top lab in the country. They proved that we could kill SARS with the product at just 60 minutes, okay? They had a huge problem with doctors in a lot of countries. First, you have to pull everybody out of the room. Then you disinfect. Then you disinfect from the disinfectant. And then you can let everybody back in. The first patient you bring back in reinfects that entire room. Okay? And our point with this is, hey, it took an hour. So what? The fact is, I can disinfect with you sitting there. I can disinfect a wheelchair with the kid in it. I can disinfect a baby crib. I can disinfect anywhere where you live and work. We're approved for gram-negative, gram-positive, and nosocomial, hospital-mutated pathogens. Okay? Any hard surface. The last one on these lists are probably the ones that are going to get your attention. Okay? And I'm not meaning to scare you to death, and actually I won't give you the numbers that I got, because. I probably shouldn't. But the point is that it might become very important for you to have something in your house that has at least proven an in vitro test to be able to kill bird flu, H5N1. We've tested against three different strains, all right? We have proven that we could kill bird flu. Tamiflu has not. They can't kill it. In the test, Tamiflu was able to reduce the time you had regular flu by 1.5 days. What that means is that the drug the government has brought in to the U.S. to save everybody from bird flu reduced it so instead of having the flu for 14 days, you only had it for 12.5 days. Yippee. Okay, so if the question is, can the new silver solution kill the pathogen, the answer is yes. Have I proven that I can do it in living studies? I have not yet. I'm actually working on it. I haven't had any volunteers who would get it. But we are doing a mouse model study that we're setting up right now. But the point is that if your choices are, one, a product you know won't work, and two, a product that at least has been proven to do it in vitro, okay, there's no question in my mind. How important is that information?